fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am here for the sixth and hopefully final part of my kitting down or putting away of my art dot spare squares. So I am in box number six. I've completed boxes one through five and I'm ready to start kitting up my final um, packages of drills and um, putting them away in my final box. So I'm just going to jump in and get started because I'm excited to almost be done with this. I feel like I have spent the last couple of months doing nothing but putting drills away, which is not true at all, but it just feels that way sometimes. I um, have enjoyed the process of putting all of these away and watching my um, spare boxes get filled up, but I am definitely ready to kind of be done with this project and move on to other things. So I'm excited to kind of finish up and move on. I originally had intended to also purchase the round spares, but I held off on doing that for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't want to give myself that much to do all at once, and I'm really glad now after going through this process that I didn't, because I think if I had had all of them to do at once, it would have just made me that much more crazy. It's bad enough having to do just the squares um, and also, um, the other reason is that I do probably more round kits than square, um, or at least I have up to this point. And so I feel like I have more round spares than I do, um, squares from the kits that I do. So I felt like there was kind of less of a need to buy those because I felt like I would have enough of them from just the kits that I was doing. So I might buy them at some point in the future, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Eventually, eventually I will get around to my heaven and earth design project, which is the reason that I'm doing all of this in the first place. So, but I needed to do some prep, right? So it's fine and it's already spilling, of course. So um, it's fine that, you know, this is taking me a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Um, it's been an enjoyable process, even though it seems like it's taking forever. I do still enjoy kind of, like I said, making sense out of the chaos, the kitting up and kitting down and putting away and organizing everything is still very much something that I enjoy. Um, but it is something that I am ready to, <laughs> as I think I've mentioned, kind of be done with. So this hopefully won't be too long of a video today because I'm actually have way less of these than I thought. I thought I had basically two and a half sleeves left, but either I worked farther than I remembered last time or these sleeves are a little bit shorter because they were at the end than the others because it just doesn't seem like I have as many drills colors in the sleeves as I did in some of the other ones. So. And maybe that's just me seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and thinking, oh, okay, I'm almost done. And that's what makes it seem like less. But either way, it's all good because I'm getting done. So that's all that matters. So, and it's been fun watching my my drill boxes, my spare storage boxes fill up with drills because it was just, you know, kind of these empty bags for so long. So, you know, finally getting to see some of that work that I put into setting up the storage system and making the stickers and, you know, all of that, um, seeing it pay off and, you know, 
being able to do some things like, um, you know, finish my sugar skull because I had to switch it over to the squares. Um, and is that stuck in there? Yes, it is. And, um, you know, just knowing that I'm going to have the squares that I, or the, the spares, squares and spares that I need to do projects will be fun. Ooh, I wonder if these are going to be the same color. Nope, but that's okay. And I think I'm probably going to have to move. These are all in one sleeve right now, but I think I'm going to have to move them because it's already getting kind of full. So right now in this box, I just have everything in this one sleeve. And then I've got extra, these are my glow in the dark drills and then some diamond dots that I just stored in here to kind of take up room, which I'm probably going to need to move over because I don't think this is sitting in there quite where I want it to but this is already getting kind of full here at the back. So I'm going to pull some of these out and do some moving so that I've got some play and then I can just stick these here at the back. Okay, and they're gonna slide down a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so then let me put these in the trash. I feel like I've made some progress over the last couple of days on some projects. So that's been good um, because I felt like I was kind of getting behind. Let me make sure as I scoot these up, I'm keeping them in order because I got those out of order the other day and oh, those are round. See, almost stuck them in the wrong place. So being able to finish this pig project along with a couple of other ones. I got a canvas done that I was working on um, and got it kind of put away. And now that I'm reaching the end of these, I can finish dekitting Diana because those drills have been sitting around for months now and that's starting to drive me crazy. I finished dekitting Diana with all of the um, kind of storage containers that I wanted to free up. So everything that's left is pretty much what is in Tic Tac boxes. And I won't be using those for anything else. Um, I really only use them for that, for Diana, because I didn't have anything else at the time. I have other options now if I decide to do something else. Oh, and what did I do? I've missed a bag here. three eight four five did I just stick those in no I just put them in the wrong place okay there we go once again I get to talking and I lose what I'm doing so I won't be using the tic tac boxes for anything else I've got when I get to doing my other diamond painting Deutschland Josephine wall which is melody in pink once I get to that I will um, be using other types of storage. I have other storage containers that I much prefer over the Tic Tac containers. Um, when I started Diana, I just didn't have a lot to pick from. And because it was so many colors, that's what I had available to use. So that's what I used. But yeah, I don't think the Tic Tac containers are anybody's favorite. I mean, if they are, let me know in the comments. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, you make do with whatever you have, and that's what I did. I started off with the Tic Tac containers because I didn't like working from the baggies, and those were relatively inexpensive, and so those were the first kind of storage containers I bought. But I learned very quickly that I did not really care for them. And so, um, you know, finding something else to use just really made it so much easier. And I think I need to move some of these again already. So maybe I'll do one more before I decide to move things. Maybe one or two, because I'm getting almost to the end here. I've got maybe 10, 15 colors left, probably not even that many. 
I get them put away and put in here and then see what I need to move and where. I can't believe this is taking up six whole boxes. Although I guess, you know, at least I have the boxes I bought. I thought it would only take five and I was pretty close because I'm not going to fill up the sixth box, but it's definitely going to use more of this sixth box than I thought. And I put that sticker on sideways. That's funny. Um, definitely going to use up more than I thought because I'm going to end up using probably the first two rows of this box and I wasn't sure I would use any of it. So definitely glad I, I bought more than I thought I would need because I ended up needing it. So that's good. Oh, I've already got two, two wildly different colors in there. Look at that. And I'm about to add a third. So And I know this probably would drive some of you crazy, but for me, again, I've said before, if I'm going to use these, I will um, sort them all out. And now that I'm pouring them in like this, like when I go to pour them out, those colors that are similar are pretty going to, are going to be pretty close. So, I mean, they'll be close to the top, so they'll fall out first. And, you know, honestly, when I go looking for spares, I'm usually not looking for that many. My my sugar skull was unusual in that I was basically changing over a whole kit from rounds to squares. And so I needed quite a few, which is why I ended up buying the extras that I did from um, Diamond Drills because I knew I wasn't going to have enough um, to do the background of that one if I didn't buy some additional drills thousand drills wouldn't have cut it. So even though I did have some in that color that came in these art dots, it was not going to be enough. And I knew that going in. So, and I wanted to be sure that the die lots match because as we've seen, they don't always. And so just to avoid any further issues with that one, I ordered the extra drills from diamond dots or diamond dots from uh, diamond drills USA. So, um, yeah. And this is going to, now that I have this big project, when I get it finished off my plate, I can move on to some other projects. I've been trying to come up with some projects that I want to do um, to kind of challenge myself diamond painting. And I also want to come up with a project for next year. Like this year, basically my project for myself was, well, kind of twofold. One was to start the channel. And I've done that and I've, I've done well with it better than I expected. So thank you to all of you for helping me with that because I really appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed. And, um, my other big project was the, um, Josephine wall, Diana canvas that I did and I managed to complete that. So now I'm kind of looking at, um, you know, how do I want to challenge myself for next year in diamond painting? Because I want to do things that are going to help me grow as a diamond painter. I don't want to be kind of stuck where I am always. Um, so let's see if I can hold those in place because I'm going to move some of these out of the back because they're being obnoxious. Okay, let's see if that... Does that give me enough play? I think that gives me enough play. Okay, let me move these out of the way. I've got enough trash here that is kind of taking up space that I don't need it to. Okay, so now you can see I've kind of got some play in here. So when I need to put the Diana drills away, I've got room to get in here. And then also I've got these in here and I may move, I wonder if I moved a couple of these over here just to kind of keep that from falling to kind of keep those in place. And I actually have another one that's been sitting over here that I keep forgetting to put with that one. So I'll stick that one in there. Okay. So I just have these still to go and then I'm going to be done. Woohoo! Okay, 
And I already did some of those, so I'm ready for 38.62. So, oh my gosh, you guys, you can't believe how happy I'm going to be to get all of these done. I'm so excited. I can get all of these done. These are going to then be kind of in boxes where they were. I'm going to use my label maker and make little labels for my boxes here so that I know what numbers are where. So when I go to dekit, I know where everything is. And oh, you have no idea. I have been looking at these laying in the floor of my craft room for so long and I thought I was never going to get to the end. I never expected this to be a six part series, but I guess it does take a while to put away um, 445 colors of drills. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but, and I guess I could have just done one marathon session, more likely two. I don't know that I could have done this many drills in one session, but I might've given it a good try. All right, two colors left. And I pretty much have some of almost every color now. I think there's a few that um, I don't have, but maybe not. Don't know that I've looked at that either, so we'll see. Okay. Last ones. All right. Okay. Last drills in the box. Whoops. Okay, so my idea didn't work or I need to move some more of them over. I wonder if I move two more of them over if that will hold better. They still might move, but maybe not as much. Okay, let me throw my trash away again. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I'm finally done. Oh, this was such a project. I'm so happy I'm so finally done. Oh, and my floor is finally clean. Woo! I'll probably find other things to throw in it, but you know, at least it's done for now. So I've got all of my boxes finished. This is box number six, but everything is now done and everything is basically put away. I have my glow-in-the-dark drills here. These are my diamond dots drills that I didn't match up colors. So rather than trying to hunt and match up colors because it wasn't easy to do, although I probably could just stick this in the whites, huh? Anyway, I'm just going to leave them where they are for now. And that means I have everything. Oh, I said I was done, but I lied. I've got AB drills that have to go in here. So let me, those are square ABs. So let me put these in here. These are the, um, some leftover diamond art clubs. I think these are from my Lenore kit. So it's 141 in diamond art club numbers, which is 5,200. So I'm going to put these in the 5,200 bag of ABs because I'm keeping all of my ABs together. And this was my last my last bag, um, that last one will get out. This was my last bag of ABs. And then I've got some round ABs left over from, I don't even remember what kit, but I have some left over. So I will put them in there. So those are all my round ABs. Now, is that truly the end of everything? I think so. I have my jelly drills left which I think actually I'm just going to stick in here for them to just lay. And I've got some special drills, but I'm not going to put them in here. I'm going to keep those kind of out and separate along with my crystal rhinestones, which are in a separate place because I do keep the rhinestones in these little Tic Tac containers just because I have like a almost like a spice rack shelf where I can display these and I can see the colors very, very clearly. So um, I like that better for those because typically I'm not going by color. I'm going 
I eyeball, I'm not looking at number because I, most of my crystal drills are not numbered. So, um, yeah, I think I'm finally done guys. So all of my regular round and square and all my AB round and square, including my jellies and my diamond dots and my glow in the dark are all in these lovely photo storage boxes so that I can have them stored away nice and neatly. They fit nicely on my bookshelf. They look nice and neat. And most important, when I need something, I will know exactly where it is. There you go, guys. That is my uh, final putting away, storing my art dot spares. I will put links in the description below to both the art dot spares as well as the baggies that um, I used in my storage system. They are nice and heavy. I really love them, and I've had lots of you asking me about them. So make sure that you check out my link below. I got them off of Amazon, and. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much guys for hanging around with me through this series. I appreciate it. Before you go guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads like these. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.